Welcome to ASE exam practice test. Our topic today is suspension and steering. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following integral non-rack and pinion steering gear components is the most likely cause of a steering gear leak? A. Stub shaft. B. Pitman shaft. C. Sector seal. D. Rack piston. The correct answer is B. Pitman shaft. Explanation. The Pitman shaft seal is the most likely cause of a steering gear leak because it is a high wear item. Number 2. The steering wheel sensor is typically located at which of the following locations? A. Base of the steering column. B. Under the airbag. C. On top of the rack and pinion gear. D. Inside the rack and pinion gear. The correct answer is A base of the steering column. Explanation. Steering wheel sensors are located at the base of the steering column. Number 3. Rider curb height is adjustable on which of the following suspension types? A McPherson strut type. B torsion bar. C Chapman strut. D short arm long arm, SLA. The correct answer is B torsion bar. Explanation. The right and curb height is adjustable on the torsion bar. The other suspensions are not adjustable. Number 4. A banging noise is heard when the accelerator is depressed and released on a RWD, rear wheel drive vehicle with independent rear suspension. Technician A says a leaking shock absorber could be the cause. Technician B says a broken or loose rear axle torque arm could be the cause. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is B. Technician B only. Explanation. Technician B is correct because the rear axle rolls with acceleration and deceleration, and if the torque rod is loose, it will make noise. Technician A is wrong because leaking shocks do not make a noise, just bounce. Number 5. On a rear leaf spring, which of the following is the most likely cause of center bolt breakage? A. Spring misalignment. B. Leaf separation during rebound. C. Improper U-bolt tightening. D. Overloading the vehicle. The correct answer is D. Overloading the vehicle. Explanation. Overloading the vehicle will cause the center bolt to break, and the other answer options will not cause center bolt failure. Number 6. A rack and pinion assembly is being replaced with a short rack. The replacement of a short rack typically does not include which of the following? A. Bellows, boots. B. Spool valve. C. Pinion gear. D. Rack gear. The correct answer is A. Bellows, boots. Explanation. The short rack never includes the bellows, boots, or inner tie rod ends, ball socket assemblies. The labor and cost required to exchange or replace these parts usually make it easier and less expensive to replace the entire steering unit. The other three components listed are all included in a short rack. Number 7. Technician A says it is generally recommended that all belts, including the serpentine or poly V belts be replaced every four years. Technician B says the power steering pump pulley is replaced every five years. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is A. Technician A only. Explanation. Technician A is correct because this is a standard industry and OEM practice. Technician B is wrong because the power steering pulley is only replaced when it is defective. Number 8. Which of the following wheel alignment adjustments affect tire wear the most? A. Caster. B. Ride height. C. T.O.O.T. Toe out on turns. D. Cammer. The correct answer is D. Cammer. Explanation. Cammer is the only choice that affects tire wear. 
If the camera setting is too negative the tire wears on the inside edge. If the camera is set too positive the tire wears on the outside edge. Number 9. Overinflated tires can cause excessive wear in which of the following? A. Outside the edges of the tire. B. Cupping pattern. C. Tire center. D. Tire inside edges. The correct answer is C. Tire center. Explanation. If the tire is overinflated, the tire is expanded enough to wear in the center. Number 10. When balancing a tire, what weight do most experts recommend to correct an imbalance condition? A. 2 ounces. B. 3 ounces. C. 4 ounces. D. 5 ounces. The correct answer is D. 5 ounces. Explanation. 5 ounces is the industry standard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.